I have to be honest, Connor, as you can see, I'm a large man myself, and I do like to dabble in professional wrestling. But this, this is something else. I know something about social media. I know something about YouTube present. There he is. Big Miller, Simon Miller. Why? That's why. Because that is an absolute specimen. The master of what culture? But let's not get dragged down by YouTube. Let's talk about professional wrestling and the fact that this man has put in the time, put in the hours, and he's actually one of the best professional wrestlers in the heavyweight division that we've ever seen. I absolutely, I remember when I saw Simon's debut back in 2018, and I love that because he is living of dreams. Every single wrestling man who's ever wanted to step into a ring, Simon Miller is one of us, and he's living his best life. Yes, he is. Simon Miller, quite literally, is everything that so many of us strive to be. That man who starts out on social media, that man who starts out by just loving the sport of professional wrestling, our great sport. And now, look at the shape, though. This is a man who, in four and a half years, has taken this craft extremely seriously, and the proof is in the pudding and listen to the audience here at Stanley Arts. Tell you what though, his opponent doesn't care about social media presence and let's be honest, his opponent knows a little something about being in front of the big screen. This is a man who's acted in films. This is a man who's been on some of the most incredible tours of the world. The alpha male, Yeston Race. We thought Miller was big. Look at the goddamn size of this man. Simon Miller has got a light heart in this about him. When it comes to wrestle, he will be in his game, but he's generally a very approachable man. He's generally a very nice man. Yeston Reese is all business. Yeston Reese is not a nice man, because nice, in his own words, when he spoke to me backstage, he said, let me make something very clear to you, wrestle plug. Nice does not make money. Might makes money. And the alpha male, Yeston Reese, is an absolute specimen, as people will know from watching WrestleBlog. I refer to this man as the meatiest of meaty hot. And there's a reason for that, because when the lights bounce off of him, he looks like he is a carved Adonis. You can literally smell the masculinity coming off Yeston Reese. You don't get to call yourself alpha male unless you are extremely masculine. And to be fair, Simon Miller is not exactly an effeminate man in any way but this is going to be one hell of a heavyweight collision inside the Coliseum absolutely Ooh, a lot of trash talk already yesterday yes, yesterday Reese made this very clear now he's like this he was like this on the first show as well YouTube rules yesterday Reese said to me YouTube is for morons it's for idiots I don't have time for that I'm only interested in making real money and actually socializing with people like a normal person unlike Simon Miller I mean like it could be argued if you, you spend less time on YouTube and more time in the gym that yes and Reese does arguably you can give the results I mean there's one thing you can't argue with is yes and Reese and his physical performance you know this is a man who wrestled Frankie Kazarian just a week ago I know. Just a week ago, wrestling Frankie Kazarian, Impact Wrestling Superstar, the AEW Tag Team Champion, and now he's here wrestling Simon Miller, and there seems to be a lot of posturing going on. This is something Simon Miller needs to be very, very careful, turning his back on an alpha male like Yeston Reese. Absolutely, but the fans love Simon Miller, we love Simon Miller, and Simon, he's talked about many times how the fans have gotten behind him, and he wouldn't be where he is now without them. So, all in all, it's a symbiotic relationship between the fans and Simon and we'll see if that will be in effect today. Let's not forget as well, there's a lot of people in this business, a lot of jealousy in this business from a lot of different angles, but people have rallied around Simon Miller, and the reason for that is because he's done it the right way. And let's not forget as well, referee Tom Scarborough, one of the best referees in the world, refereeing this guy, and frankly, we're gonna need him to maintain order with a match of this level of quality. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeston himself represents a slightly older generation of wrestling. A wrestlers who are no nonsense, doesn't involve in social media, just knows to the grind. Simon, arguably one of the newer wrestlers. He's only, like I said, it's been 2018. He's four only and a half years. Four in this and a half years compared to Yeston, who's been around the block and more. So, if anything, it might be a similar clash of styles in terms of two powerhouses, but this represents more, a generational battle, more than anything. It's also worth saying is that Simon Miller gets a beautiful headlock in. Let's not forget, he has been trained astutely and he's consistently training at the highest level for this sport. But it's also worth pointing out that yesterday, Miller, like you said, old school mentality. Some people have told me, Frankie Kazarian told me, this business is all about building in bars and cars. That's how people used to learn about this business. Shoulder block attempt, nothing doing there. It is very much 
much the immovable force versus the immovable object, frankly. And they see yes, the Reese there, a little bit of savviness, draw him into the game a little bit, take control with another headlock. And that's not just an average headlock, is it? Let's no. be fair. This is a 275 pound, six foot four of Firefern. And even then, still can knock Simon off his feet. Absolutely. Matches have been ended with shoulder blocks and headlocks, and the fact that these two can take it from each other goes to show in what physical condition they're in as well. We are in for a hoss fight. Yeah, one more. Again, the posturing. Aaron, I'm bracing myself. This might be a big one. Yeah, I, I oh. see that. Yes, the reason. See, again, it's the savviness. I cannot complain. I cannot give him any grief for that. He's catching him coming over. Simon Miller is quite oh, there. Wow. Go. Huge, huge shoulder block. Takes Yes, the reason on his feet. And now Lariat takes him down again as Simon Miller goes to work. Why? Because that's why monstrous scoop slam on Yester Reese. It's time to up those downs, Aaron. <laughs> oh my God. I need to get back in the gym watching these guys. The protein in here is ridiculous as he ducks him out. Tell you what, he took the veteran over. He caught him very nicely. And now Simon Miller having a good time. And look at the athleticism. Yester Reese is beside himself at ringside. He cannot believe a rookie in his eyes pulled the ropes down and fooled him into flying over the top rope. I think I see some steam coming from Yeston's ears. He is not happy with that. The proverbial enraged bull in the china shop that is the Stanley Arts Center. Yeston Reese, I mean, now he's sort of got himself back together a little bit. I'll tell you what, Simon Miller, a lot of posture. Again, what did I say? Don't turn your back on Yeston Reese. And that's an absolute Pearl Harbor taking it to Miller in the corner. Ah, uh, Yeston. He has got years of savviness and experience to him. He has probably oh, seen that. more than Simon knows. But, but the key question is, does he want to show Simon how much he knows? But we'll see here. Raking Miller's face across the top rope and now laying in those humongous size in boats. My God. I don't know, they make them that big, but they certainly make them big in the Alpha Males factory. And now just wrenching gouging again let's not forget he looks like the epitome of the world-class professional wrestler but he's got the mentality and the savvy of somebody who's been around the world for 20 plus years beautiful scoops down there on simon miller just enforcing himself upon him absolutely and just going back to when he was hanging him on the ropes there he used all the count until the very closeness of five he knows the rules and regulations like the back of his hand. Measuring Simon Miller, you shoulder block. And I tell you what, when an average man comes off second rope, Brett's rope, that is damaging enough. When Yeston Reese comes off the second rope, it is frankly a car crash collision. That's why you saw Simon Miller there struggling to get his shoulder off the canvas before the free count. We're just a little bit off the ring and our table shook when uh, Yeston delivered that shoulder block and it's shaking with these punches now. They make the joke, don't they, about enforcing the ring, but ultimately it needs to be enforced for individuals of this nature. Now Simon Miller, why not? Taking too long, winding up again, posturing to the audience. I understand that, these are his people, but Yeston Reese is not going to take the time to sit there and admire his posturing. But at the end of the day, Simon knows what these fans are here to see. They're here to see a fight and an entertaining fight. And Simon knows that and he wants wants to give that to them. Yeston, if he could, he would just slam Simon down, pin him, and then go home and take his money. Huge back elbow by Yeston Reese. Again, the power game is coming. I mean, he was right here. You saw it literally just a meter from our announce desk, burying that forearm in the chin of Simon Miller. The kind of forearm that would knock most people clean out. And the fact that Simon Miller is able to come back from that as he drives the point of his elbow into the top of Simon Miller's skull. We've all been there when we've hit our face or chin on a hard object and I certainly know the pain of that and I'm often out for a week. Did you run into me earlier? I didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> but when you have that, it it, it, it mesmerises yeah. you. It can't put you in the... And that that. that suplex! Good lord! Did you see the release at the end as well to add that extra velocity so that he gets more distance? Traditionally, when you hit a suplex, you are taught to obviously maintain control. Yeston Reese, very smart, releasing at the end there so there's that extra velocity and that extra distance, which creates a distance for him to again get on the second rope. Absolutely, absolutely. But you talk about posturing. I oh, know, he's taking a while and again it gets caught coming go. in. That's what happens when you go to the well too often though, isn't it? We saw it earlier and it worked, but Simon Miller was aware of it this time. Let's not forget, people look at Simon Miller and they think, okay, this guy's a YouTuber, he's a bit of a fan, he's become a body guy, whatever. That's not the case. This is a very intelligent, very astute young wrestler. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Looking to bring him out. Look at the athleticism oh. there. A man of his size just right back on his feet. Now firing up with his huge forearms. Irish whip into the corner. Follows him in with a big splash. Stinger-esque. And That's again. Yeah, here we go again. Oh, he's yeeting Yeston Reese around like discarded trash. And that is very impressive. And look at that. Reverse DDT. You love to see it. Absolutely Cut gorgeous up. technique. Yeston Reese just out. But he what? Simon Miller would have picked up a fantastic win there. Of course, this is the second time we've seen Simon Miller in a Coliseum. First time out, meaty host collision with Jim Diehard, oh. a veteran and a legend of our sport. Absolutely. Simon is going through the legends and the older guard of our sport. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Yes, the Reese bring in Tom Scarborough. And then raking the eyes while Tom Scarborough he's not aware. Tom Scarborough's, uh, you know, he was not aware. He did not see that. And now, looking for the alpha slam, a huge power slam like maneuver. Drops him right down on that injured shoulder. Do you notice has been taped up by Simon Miller. Is that enough? No, oh! it's not. Incredible heart, incredible desire. Referee Tom Scarra got a look at this there. He said, no, just 2.78. And he is out. That was pretty much a perfect Alpha Slam. Center of the ring, nowhere near the ropes, dead to right. All that took to was the sheer willpower of Simon Miller to kick out of that. The amount of times I've been in a room and I've seen Yester Reese finish a man without power slam. The fact that Miller kicked out of that is incredible enough. Now Fireman's carry and Miller knows that he needs to get out of that. Yeah! My God almighty! I'm not sure what was more impressive, your call of it or the collision, but frankly, he just cut him in half. Ah, uh, here we go, Aaron. Why? That's why Simon Miller is tuning up the headband. This is going to be a bold manoeuvre. Oh, we love to I see what you've done there. <laughs> I like your style, young man. Yes, what, this is going to be a collision like no other, but he's got to get it. Yes, oh. Reese knew, and he caught him coming in and sidestepped him beautifully. And now, back to that Simon's carry. Simon's carry. Looking for that F5. huge. The F5. Slices him down to size. Oh. And that's a free count. An incredible effort, but Simon Miller cut off at the pass. Took a little too long. Took a little bit too long. And that was all Yeston Reese, the veteran, needed to cut him off and hit him with that monstrous F5. And it's Simon Miller who tastes the canvas. And it's Yeston Reese who picks up a victory after his last show. When, of course, he lost to Shreddy in our opening show back in July of last year. Absolutely. We are not going to hear the end of this from Yeston Reese. He is going to be boasting about this. He's going to be bravadoing about this. We are not going to hear the end of this. Utter, utter specimen. And ultimately, if Yeston Reese grabs me and wants to tell me something, I'm not going to argue because the man will cut me in half. What an absolute monster of a man.